What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Great X Gaming. I am Jax, and we are back with Knock Knock. Now, uh, when I left off, there were some problems. We had gotten to the end, and I recorded live fucking recordings for this whole scene. But, uh, guess what? Shit out on me. That's right, the audio I recorded was completely fucking fried, peaking like everywhere. I don't know what's causing this. I've got a good microphone. I've got a good computer. I've got a good setup. Hello, giant creepy girl. I don't know what's going on. Uh, there's the clock. Anyways, I'm re-recording commentary over this. No control in my hands. This is already done. But this is the finale for Knock Knock. Now, the, the, I won't be as fucking immediately stunned, scared, freaked out, everything. But... I gotta get this to you guys. I'm not gonna just drop the last video off the face of the earth, and I'm not gonna give you guys audio that's so bad you can't understand it in places. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, when we left off, I had gotten, what was it, two, I think? Two of the Dushenka audio clips, I'm not sure. And, uh, or, uh, not audio clips, messages, I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, right now we are in another reality page, but the big girl, the giant dancing happy girl, still back there, doing the things, having the fun. <laughs> Ow! I'm trying to figure out this mic thing, you guys. I promise. But uh, this game did bring up a really cool, co like, uh, topic in my head. I'm not gonna be as alpha cuff eloquent as this about it as I. It used to sleep right here. As I was when I first talked about it, because I forgot half of what I was saying, because it was a thing that was inspiring me in the moment. But it it was basically my, uh, recently I've jumped into a softly, softly, huge, uh, fuck you say, what? I don't remember those noises. Uh, a huge, like, dive into the this whole, uh, horror genre online. I've been watching a lot. It happened here in this very forest, in this very home. I've been watching a lot of uh, Nightmind with Nick Nocturne. If you guys don't watch that channel, I highly recommend it. If you like horror at all, it is a super cool channel. And uh, his review of uh, Everyman Hybrid or his Everyman Hybrid Explained is what got me into that channel. He, he's he got such cool... Hello, giant girl. He's got such cool... Uh, and he's got this, the best voice. Like, I cannot explain it enough. If you're a fan of Night Vale, you owe it to yourself to listen to his voice. Hi, giant girl! Uh, but, so, I've been, uh, I watched his breakdowns of Everyman Hybrid, Tribe 12, Marble Hornets. I am now currently waiting for more about Everyman Hybrid and Tribe 12, because it's fucking fascinating. Even if I do feel, personally, that Slender Man's really overdone, they've managed to make it interesting, because the focus isn't Slender Man. Well, he's the big bad, but they have... This, he's not the focus, he's like the looming threat, but the main antagonists are... His... His, his, I hesitate to say minions, but you know, you know what I'm saying. And, uh, combine that with games like Knock Knock and discovering the fear mythos online, which is, again, another thing I cannot recommend enough. The fear mythos is a collection of blogs that started around 2000, I don't know, honestly. I know some were supposedly 2007. Hi, door. But I know that, it, I think, I, I don't know. But it's basically... What if Slender Man wasn't the only big bad out there? You know? What if there was, uh, other abominations like that that are, like, warring with each other, but they can't openly fight because it rips a void in the fabric of the universe? So they use proxies, and they use human puppets, and they destroy humans in the process. Walking, walking through the forest, hello people with four legs. Uh, and it's just such a cool concept, you know? It's, it really is. Uh, hold on. Hold on. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, little error there with my, uh, recording setup I had to fix. But, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going with the, uh, onward move to the nightmare sec- next nightmare segment. By the way, uh, shut up, phone. There's no time for you. There's no time for you. Uh... Look at my sanity bar, just slowly descending. But yes, anyways, like I was the, just realized it's the invisible one who walks around while I sleep. He's the one who takes my diary and the page and the pages out. I thought that he might be real, and he did appear. Or is time itself? Time is killing me while I sleep, and I'm watching it happen in my dreams. Uh, uh, 
I was saying something about horror specifically, and I lost my train of thought completely when I got interrupted. By the way, yes, I've noticed while watching over back, watching through my videos and everything, my eyes are weird. But, uh, anyways, so when, now here we are in another horrible, horrible, horrible nightmare world. And, uh, at this point, I was getting super excited. I thought this was the last one. I thought this was the last nightmare segment. I was all psyched up, pumped up, like, I'm gonna beat the game, I'm gonna beat the game. Oh boy, was I deluded. There was like two or three more. And I didn't do so well in the last one. Oh, buddy. Nope, I died. Hi, Dashenka. I died a lot. I honestly am not sure, with the way this game's dialogue goes, if Dashenka is male or female. I don't know. By the way, when I hear the crying and zoom out, I'm looking for Dashenka. Because you can actually see her on the mini-map. On the mini-map. The full screen map. Ugh. Ah! But, yes. So, uh, the fear mythos is super cool. And, anyway, yeah, right. The, uh, fear mythos is, fear mythos is what I was talking about before I got interrupted. Dashenka's up there. Yeah, go on, buddy. Uh, it's, it's such a fascinating thing, because it's not just Slenderman. There's others in it, too. Other, they're, they're fears. They all represent fears of things. And Slenderman became a lesser known thing because they didn't want copyright problems and everything. So they kind of lessened his involvement. But there's people like the Cold Boy, who's the fear of isolation and societal abandonment. Hey, Paige! There is no child in the house, but on the bed I found what it brought back for me. Strange selection, a few shriveled up maple leaves, all mixed up with wet dirt as if it scooped them from the ground, in cupped hands and carried them home folded in its clothes. Now all these rags have to be washed, whether I want to or not, I'll have to see what's hidden inside. But I think I can already guess. We became strangely close in the weeks that we spent together. Uh, wow, I timed that pretty damn well, huh? Uh, hello, Void! Um, um... Uh, cold boy, fear of isolation. Basically, all of these fears come about when you expose yourselves to them by different ways. Sorry about the background noise. And, uh, in this time in particular, it's, uh, the cold boy, if you isolate yourself off from everything, you, he, his victims are basically frozen into ice sculptures. <laughs> oh, fucker. Coming out of nowhere, eating my face. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that shit. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it's it's a really cool thing. I just bought the anthology. Focus. Thank you. I just bought the anthology, and it's it's very cool, and I'm I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, there's also the uh, uh, I've also found a couple more that I'm going to get to watching. I haven't gotten a chance to yet. I think like the West Records and another one I can't remember the title of. I have it open in a tab somewhere, but I'm not going to stop everything I'm doing and go look for it just to get the name. I'll share it with you guys in a later doubt, later date, date. Date. Um, yep. Uh, what you remember, buddy? There gotta be something there. There gotta be something there, right? There's gotta be something there. There's gotta be something useful for me. Come on, show me the money. Mmm, a hiding place. That's not terrible. Not great, though. Uh. Oh, that's the game. I was like, I thought I heard somebody crying. It's just the game. Oh. Having this with uh, surround sound headphones, in, or not surround sound, but headphones in on either side always kind of throws me, especially when I have the volume up, because it's like, wait, am I hearing shit or not? Because if it was somebody, if it was uh, that voice crying, it could have been my sister, and I don't want to hear my sister cry. I would have had to go and run and see what's wrong and everything. Uh, boom. Boom, boom. Who's moaning? There's no zombies in this house. There's no spirits in this house. No rifts have formed yet. Stop going, boom. Ah, oh, Dushenka, really? You're gonna, you're gonna do me like that? You're gonna do me like that? <sighs> I swear. Ungrateful. Ungrateful. Hi, bye. Yeah, you can... Oh, really? I found the bedding on the invisible's bed, crumpled and tossed about as if in disgust. I gently asked why. It only creaked out something about how the bed smells bad. I took it out for a walk. It's a dry autumn, lots of scents in the air. We pick berries and leaves, and I ask which smells it likes. Silence. It accepts nothing, and then it lets me know that it wants to get something to show me. I let it go. The city's almost deserted now. Why not let it run around a bit? Now, uh... But, oh. But, them. Them. Six legs. I... It's only a dream. I'm dreaming right now. I have to figure out how to wake up. Um. Ah, I remember using this game and kind of freaking out. Because it's like, there's these pages, these diary pages that are counting down. Snippets of something. And I don't think they're the lodgers because they don't seem the same. So, somebody else's diary about the invisible children and probably Dashenka and all this weirdness that's happened and the project and I want to know so I may end up uh, looking it up online because I'm very curious oh buddy 
Going down there's a mistake. You're not gonna make it. You're just gonna get your face eaten. Sometimes I'm dumb when I play this game. Like, looking back on it now, there was no way I was gonna make it through this point. Wait, do I? I did! Holy shit! I was wrong! I'm sorry, me! And I got a clock! Hey! Lamau! Um, yeah, I've been watching a lot of Magic Abuse fly, so I keep saying, Hey, Lamau! Which is just fucking stupid, I know. Uh. Uh, b b I, I know I had something more to say. Oh, the other thing I remembered, because Nick Nocturne brought up an interesting point. I was looking through some of the questions people asked him on his uh, Tumblr, and one of the things was, come on, unlock that door. You got this, buddy. Was, uh, why are you not doing Let's Plays? Uh, oh, right, there's a me. I forgot about the me. Fuck. I forgot how creepy it was to see another me. Hi, I'm Hi me. And then look, I vanish and then reappear. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. I don't. I don't. But uh, 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 Nick Nocturne brought up the point of why uh, of that their let's plays are everywhere and really frequent, and they are. And I know it's a problem. But here's the thing: I'm not doing this for fame. I'm not doing this for money. I've got a full-time job. It's killing me, but I'm making money. It's not terrible. I'm going back to school for more and better. I'm doing this because I love it. I love sharing my experiences with people. I love entertaining people. I like. I'm not hiding from you. Shut up. I love uh, making people laugh more than anything. I love making people laugh. Like. It's one of my favorite feelings in the world. It's why I make an ass out of myself, a clown out of myself. I act ridiculous a little more than I should. Uh, it's a martyr for the sake of comedy, in my friend's words. But it's just... I like doing this because I love making people laugh. And also, video games have been a part of my life since I was a wee baby. Since I was a wee baby. Like, one of my first and earliest memories is playing the... Uh, I don't remember the name of it. There was a Mickey Mouse game for SNES, and it involved going through a bunch of different environments. Each environment had its own uh, unique costume with abilities you could use, and you switch between them through the game. But I remember playing that with my dad and watching him play it late, late at night. And just ever since then, video games have been a big thing. Like, I remember one of the first things I played by myself was Super Mario World. And Oh, hello, Ghosty Boo. I'm hiding because you're creepy. And I don't want to restart all my progress. That's why I hide. Shut the fuck up. Don't judge me. Uh, but, uh, so video games, they've, they've always been a part of... Why are there t three of me? Why are there three of me? I don't understand. Okay, we're back. Sorry about the interruption, guys. I know, um... I lost my complete train of thought. I, oh, right, there were three of me for some reason, and I was talking about video games. But yeah, I've loved video games forever. They are, they're such an intrinsic part of, I don't know, my self-identity, I guess, because they, they, they are my favorite form of tele storytelling, and they are my favorite form of media, period, because they allow for such possibility, especially with the advancement of indie game scenes, where people that maybe couldn't manage to do full-on filmmaking or anything, they can do indie games. They can. And it's, it's, and it's awesome. And I love, I love video games. I, I almost went into school for video game development, but I, uh, had some issues with college the first time around, and I also realized, I'm shit at programming? Woo, morning! There's another one of me in the basement! How many me's are there? What the hell? But, uh, I realized I'm shit at program. It, this game is especially dangerous because the guests start it. Sooner or later, you'll hear a voice saying, Who isn't ready yet? After some time, he then says, You are ready because you are frozen. Blame yourself for here I come. After that, they find you no matter what you are doing, and everything begins again. This game feels impossible to win. The key is this is a game for the brave. In reality, one hides by standing in place. As long as even one person in the house is still hiding, the game will continue. But the game has to be finished. Whoever sees it to the end is the winner. Uh... Bleh! I, I was saying something, uh, but that interrupted me. Oh, uh, and it's just, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't have the energy and power to manage a single person game development. And I don't have enough skill in any one aspect to be hired for game development. 
if many of my friends were into video and video game stuff, like, I've thrown myself out there if somebody wants some voice acting, if somebody wants some story concepts, character ideas, anything, I'm down to help. I just can't organize and coordinate a project on my own. I have, I have difficulty managing that kind of thing. God, I hate those things. Buh. I, I really do. I do. Um, anyways. But yes, so video games, I love. Horror is a new media. Horror is a new thing to me, too. I didn't used to be able to do it. Shut up, door. I'm not ready for you yet. Horror is a new thing. Because I used to be a scaredy cat to the highest degree. I couldn't watch horror movies. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even watch horror Let's Plays. The first time I watched Markiplier's Outlast Let's Play, I had to do it with people because I was too scared to do it on my own. Terrified to do it on my own. Ah, uh, yeah, in this playthrough, uh, in this, when we reached this thing, I thought I was in the last door, the last house fragment, so I was just like, fuck it, let's just rush through, get the clock, and let's go! Because look at that, look at the, look at the clock in the top left. The top, that, I guess for me, it would be, uh, that way, yeah. The, that way, that way, that side of the screen, you, you guys know, the screen, in the top left of the screen, you guys are looking at. Uh, look at the sli sliver of that now, I thought it was going to be a fall, but no, there's one more after this. Hi, door, I know. There's one more after this, so there's two more levels. Uh, one more dreamscape level, where the house just fucks you over, and then one more reality level. And then we get to the ending. And I spent the whole fucking time playing through this, panicking. Did I get the best ending? Did I get a good ending? Did I get a bad ending? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, I do know now, but we'll wait and see. Oh, there are so many of those little critter bastards around everywhere. I don't like them. Oh yeah, uh, that thing in the background confused the fuck out of me. So let's go see what it is. It's a cut-rate Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> right? And look, there's another one. What crackled? I don't remember the crackling noises. And, yep, there we go. Just go ahead and fuck over my sanity a little bit more. Why not? You know, it's not like I need it for anything. Right? Fucking... That owl sounds like a, uh, vibrating phone. Ow. That made my lips tingle weird. Um. Oof. But yeah. So, this is the, uh, last forest scene, I believe, in the game. So I was scampering along like, fuck it, let's find the house. I gotta find the house. Before all those dark black cracks across the screen come and get my face. And look at my white... Was that a fly or a girl? And look at my sanity bar up there. The white meter. That's not doing too good, huh? Nope. And there's no way to refill that I don't know of. But I did find out during my playthrough here that it doesn't actually uh, uh, affect the... Uh, it doesn't actually affect the uh, ending. You can get a good ending without having sanity. Not sure how true that is in real life, but uh, yeah. And then this is where this level... No, I'm definitely awake. Time for nightly rounds. I need to go through the house to make sure everything's in its rightful place. You're not awake, buddy. And this fucking house destroyed me. I remember this final level took me so many tries. You're gonna see some of them, but uh, I think before I started recording the this video, I cut some of them out. Or it might be all of them. I don't know. We'll find out. But what I do know is fuck this last level, because it's, it's, it's a bitch. It's a bitch. It wants me to suffer forever. Why, madness? Why must you taunt me and torment me and haunt me? Huh? Nobody has time for madness. It's not time for madness. It's time for remembering who I am. Uh... I, I lost what I was saying. Uh, I'm a little fried, so I keep, like, losing my train of thought. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, Dashenka! Oh, you're not that far away. Go on, lodger! Go say hi to Dashenka. Dude, make up your mind which way direction are you going. Oh, look! Feet. Isn't it great to lose sanity? Huh? Hi, Dashenka. I'm coming to say hello. Are you going to give me a notebook page? You are! Maybe it's a boy after all? It started making little noises from inside its blanket cocoon, odd squeaks and croaks. It still turns away, but at least now it's reacting to me. It seems like it's really invisible. If I tries to, it tries to reach out and touch me from time to time, but there are no hands, only emptiness. Maybe she escaped from the program. Is that what they're doing to our kids? I shouldn't be thinking about it. I don't want to. What is the program? I still don't know, and I beat the game. Like, I don't know what the program is. 
I remember the lodger mentioning something about it. Hello, clock. I remember the lodger mentioning something about it, but it, it, I don't remember what. Pick the locks, fix the doors. Why is my door keep locking? Like, you'd think he wouldn't have that many locks inside his house. Then again, it is a dream. And dreams can fuck you over. And guess where the fucking nightmare portal is? It's too far away. But me being an asshole, I'm determined to go and fucking do it. I can do it, right? I, I can just go and stop all the horrible things and, and win the game and... Oh, bye bye <laughs> Don't run. Yep, it was waiting for me at the top of the fucking stairs. Uh, I remember getting so pissed off when I was doing that. And I got really pissed off at the, playing this level. Because, I mean, you guys can see the timeline in this video. Yeah, you guys know. Oh, this was fun. Go oh, fuck yourself. I accidentally opened a door to the fucking never-ending fucking nightmare hall. Not only that, on either side of me are one of those. So I lost more sanity in the process. Woo, but out we go, and we're doing it again. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Uh, but yeah, for this, this, this capturing, I'm trying to get some mic things settled, so I've got the mic, like, right here. My hand is hovering over it. And, uh, it does seem to affect the sound quality some. I also cannot, it took me forever to realize which side of the microphone was the front, because I'm dumb. It's the side with the logo, duh. And the mute button, duh. But, uh, I figured it out. Wow, I got really weird eyes. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, the whole the the one downside to the whole fear research, I think I've been waking up in the middle of the night with nightmares. I honestly can't remember because usually I've gotten to the point where I had so many nightmares as a kid that I wake up from a nightmare, all right, and then just go right back to sleep. So it'll disturb my sleep. Tumbleweed. Oh, there was an achievement there, something like uh, underfoot or something. I don't remember what the name of it was, but uh. Uh, yeah, so I don't remember if... Uh, so I get wake up from a nightmare, but I go immediately back to sleep. It interrupts my sleep schedule, but I don't remember it. Like, as a thing that happened. I remember it as a vague possibly. I won't drink anymore. All I can think about is my little invisible one. Doesn't eat or speak. I'm not pressing. I don't even want to watch. Let it keep playing hide and seek. The child is like clothes with nothing inside. Doesn't take food, but all those kids, they forge for themselves. Somehow, little by little, they've learned to look after themselves. Most likely, all I need to do now is just love her, and eventually she'll show herself. Aww. Oh look, more legs down below. Uh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep that lodger rolling. Where are you going, lodger? Oh, you remember something? That's why I took you back. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this was a bitch of a level. So enough like random divergence and topic changes and stuff. Let's focus on the gameplay because I remember getting super frustrated. And you know what? I'm never gonna stop the topic divergences. I'm just gonna try and focus and end up saying some other stupid shit. Uh, but yeah. Oh, these levels introduce the type of enemy that like is harder to kind of track, but also easier. The handprint enemy. You'll see some of them uh, coming down the line. Basically, they leave a trail of handprints of blood along the fucking walls as they move. So they're easier to track, but they're also harder because you can't see them. They're invisible. All they leave behind are a trail of handprints, usually up on the walls. So furniture and stuff can distort them and block them. I'm not here. There's nobody here. There's nobody here. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Go. Ew, squishy. Remember, and, yeah. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think I see them. I think if you look down at the bottom floor, down there, when I zoom out. Ugh. Bye, sanity. Uh, there's, uh, handprints forming along the wall on the bottom floor. Hello, nightmares! Go to the nightmare portal lodger. You must stop them from coming through. I don't want to wait. For the nightmares to come through. I don't. I never even watched Dawson's Creek. I don't know how I know that song. Hello, I. Goodbye, I. Do you remember anything? Nope. You're not going to even remember a clock for me. God damn it, Lodger. Why do you have a big empty room in your house? That's fucking just stupid. Free. Free? Splash free? What? Do you like the swimming anime? Because I know a lot of people that do. I watched a few episodes. It wasn't terrible, but it... Oh, there are the handprints! <laughs> There are handprints! Oh, and there I go. Bye-bye! Because something appeared at my feet, and the handprints got me from behind. 
And then I was dead. Ah, uh, yes. Dead. Uh, speaking of anime, I fucking... I'm such a ridiculous nerd. Like, I, I am... I am the worst kind of nerd. I am the... I like some of everything nerd, but I don't have a focus, so I can't actually be knowledgeable about a topic. I like a lot of types of video games. I like some types of anime. I like some comics, but I don't have the money to keep track of comics, which is frustrating because I love comics and some superheroes are my fucking favorite. But I can't afford to buy comics every fucking week. They're expensive as shit. Especially when I'm paying off a car. Uh... Shenka! Where are you, honey? All the way to the left? All the way to the left. Left. Sorry, I'm mirrored, so my left is your right, and my right is your left, and ta-da! Oh, look at my little sanity bar, just slowly eating itself till it's nothing at all. Ugh. Bleh. What was I saying? Oh, but, so yeah, so there's some anime I really dig. Uh, uh, my friends and I are back to watching It's Past Time When I Should Have this Leave This Apartment, but Concern for the Children stops me. Stumbling around like a sleepwalker, I don't recognize a thing. They took the little ones. I haven't seen them for at least two days. I suddenly found another child in a corner. Whose is it? No one knows. If it sits in the corner wrapped up in a blanket, doesn't show its face, doesn't say a word, I think it might be a girl. Um, but we've been watching, uh, is it a bad idea to pick up a girls in a dungeon? Something like that. I don't remember the actual name of it. It's, 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 there that! Is basically the name. But I also remember really digging the first season of uh, Korewa Zambe Desuka. Uh, I also really, really liked the first. Come on, remember the thing. Oh, that's fucking useless to me. I also really liked the first season of Sayonara Zatsubo Sensei. And uh, Jojo's Star Adventures is one of my favorite things of all time. It's not a fantastic show. Like, there are definitely problems with it. But it's so goddamn entertaining. Muda, 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 muda. I love it so much. It's so stupid, but I love it so much. Uh, and I mean, all the fucking classic rock references in it, and the 90s pop references in it, are fantastic. I mean, there are the Oingo Boingo brothers. I can't- I, I automatically have a soft spot for anything that includes Oingo Boingo. They were great! If any of you haven't seen The Forbidden Zone, I highly recommend it. It's a fucking weird ass bed. No, that's not my bed! You're downstairs! How can it be my bed? My bed's right there! I think. That might not be my bed. I'm not sure anymore, because there's another bed right next door. No! I don't see. Oh! Hi down there! There's somebody downstairs. Oh, yay. Wait! I think this is another epic failure coming up. Who's ready? Oh, wait, no! If I remember correctly, this was even more frustrating. The light went out, then I lost my sanity. But I didn't fail! I just lost my sanity, left the portals open, and started from almost nothing again. It was... Stop with the door. Oh, right. I had to stop with that door because there was a, uh, banging. And when it shakes and bangs, that means that's a portal to the nether, the, the, the nightmare hallway, because something wicked resides on the other side of this door. It normally shows it prompt, but I always end up jumping to the door and I'm automatically picking it, which interrupts the text prompts. Now something's going squishy squashy. Oh! Hands come squishy squashy across the hallway. There they are. Hide. I hide as my sanity eats itself. There's nobody here. Shut the fuck up. Get out. Yeah! Ow. By the way, anybody that's wondering what those noises are, those are hiccups. I have painful hiccups. Mm. My body seems to like destroying itself, too. As evidenced by the uh, scratches and stuff I get on my face from time to time that just happen while I'm sleeping. I'm gonna do it and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Ain't no rifts to hell staying open in my house. Yeah, but I got time for that. Fucking hell portals. I think at this point, I was struggling with the decision of leaving all the lights on or just fucking turning them all off. Because I don't remember actually ever coming to an answer on whether or not it affects the gameplay. Like, he always says how he should turn the lights off because something could be looking in from outside. But, gameplay-wise, I never really saw any evidence of that. So it was always it was always a conflict. Hello, clock. Thank you for coming. I am so glad to have your help. Uh... Also, anybody that's actually watching this and, like, you know, has shit to say, in the comments below, who's your favorite superhero? Uh, and Marvel or DC? Like, which do you prefer? Personally, I prefer Marvel, but that's just because Marvel has a little bit less of the whole gritty angst shit. And I'm not, honestly not a fan of the, uh, 
I, like, I'm not a big grim and gritty person. Like, done well, it can be good. But there are some characters, uh, but most of the time it's just, it's just ham-fisted and unpleasant. Like, I prefer surreal weirdness to gritty unpleasantness. But I think I've said that before. Uh, Alright, hey, at this point I'm like, should I turn it off, on, off, fuck it, I'm leaving them on! Come on, pick that lock, pick that lock, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Oh god, that reminds me of my fucking favorite stupid joke of all time. Are you guys ready for this? Hey, hey, guys, guys, I've started a new band. It's a mix of ska and dubstep. First we drop the bass, then we pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! <laughs> so fucking stupid, but I love it. It's so stupid, but I love it. Like, like that's one of the... I, uh, I have no excuse, it's a bad joke, all in all. Fuck you, you're all the way downstairs, I'm not going downstairs, you stay down there, I'll stay up here, everything will be great, I'll wake up, and everything will be fine. Ooh, shadows. I'm sorry, I'm easily distracted today. I mean, I'm always easily distracted, what the fuck am I saying? But yeah. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm not trying to get away. I'm trying to live out this fucking night. You stay down there, and I'll. St Are there handprints down there? I don't remember. And I'll stay up here, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm not trying to get away to my house. You get the fuck out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that clock go. Look at that clock go. It's so close. I can taste it. Oh, look, handprints down there. I can taste my victory, you guys. It's so close. I got this. Eat a bag of dicks. I ain't think about shit. I'm thinking about how I want this to be over. It's the hellish nightmare of fucking creepy, ghosty bullshit. Hello, handprints. Hello, handprints. Can I help you? How about you don't? How about you don't? How about you don't? Okay, I'm gonna hide. Cause you're gonna squish, squash, squish, squash, squish, squash. You don't see shit. There ain't nobody crouching behind this bed. I can't see you. You can't see me. Nope. And we're good. Let's go ahead and fix that light. I'm doing it, and there's nothing you can do. I'm a win. Oh, did you really have to fucking burn out, you piece of shit? And fix it, fix it, fix it. Oh, snap. And you know what? Just to make the night a little faster. Boom. 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 That was the last night. That was the last night. And we did it. Oh, my God. My I have fucking dark circles under my eyes. Holy shit. Uh, the morning came. In this game, you need to move time forward. And the sooner the game ends, the better it is for everyone. Now, time for me to be stupid. Because I was like, this can't be the end. There's got to be some more to it. It doesn't look any different. There's no change in everything. This can't be the end. So I ended up fucking turning on every light in the house, waiting for some kind of secret, some kind of prompt, something, something, something. Meanwhile, she's just back there going, and something's making that noise. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. No. No. There's the light. So yes, any hoozles. I did this. I uh, just put it around the house, and it's. I'm f at looking back at it. Image it's like you're wasting time. Get to the fucking clock and end it. End it before something else has the chance to go wrong. But of course, nothing went wrong. It was just fucking tedium. Uh, Jesus! Shut the fuck up, door. I'm getting to you. You wait your turn. So we go up the stairs and around things. By the way, what fucking house doesn't have stairs and just has ladders? It's a terrible design for a living space. So we walk this way and we do the things. Shut the fuck up, door, I'll get to you. And we hear the wub wub of the fan. Dumpster fan's always a good sign. And we, uh,. Uh, go upstairs, and I'm just narrating what I'm doing at this point. I'm not even throwing in insightful commentary. Look at me go. Uh, but yeah, I remember like the whole time. This is part where I was peeking my mic out super bad because I spent the whole time going, "That can't be it." 
over and over and over again. But that was it. Oh god, I hate the fucking noises those things make. I remember this. It was getting dark when I was recording this, so hearing this in my ears as it was dark outside after reading a bunch of horror media, I'm just not a fan. Shut the fuck up! Ugh, I hate that. That is just unpleasant sounds. I don't like it. And we go up to ladders, not stairs. Shut your up door! I'll get to you in a minute. In a minute. Floof the hair! No, that's Mark Flyer's thing. Besides, I don't really. My hair doesn't really floof, it just kinda. <laughs> just kinda flops. It's not really floofy. It's soft and fluffy, but it's not floofy. My hair is more like a golden retrievers than a, a like a I don't know. I can't remember the name of the dog because it's not a poodle, and a poodle's not what I'm thinking of. They've got slight curls, so they have fur volume, but it, 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 mine just kind of buff. It's thick, but it kind of buff. Uh, losing my mind. Uh, hey, look at that! I hit the clock, <gasps> and there it is. I've gotten to the ending. And my characters finally decided. I had boarded up the windows in fear, but no. The answer is to go outside, and there she is. Look at her. She's so happy and light, and it's daytime, and she's outside, and she's free, and she's happy and greenery. This is the best ending, guys. This really is. Uh, the other endings, the uh, first end, that ending, you're just trapped in nightmares forever. And the, the good ending is uh, you escape, but your house is consumed by vines and thorns and darkness. The best ending is that. Now, I'm going to end it here. Because I wander around for a bit being confused by this. It turns out I'm pretty sure these are either credits or Kickstarter backers or something. But yeah, that was Knock Knock. A phenomenal experience. I highly recommend you guys try it if you're interested. Because the levels are pseudo-random. And it's a, just a cool experience to do. Playing it with the tension and everything. Anyways, if you like the video, you guys know what to do. I do... I know you guys do by now. I have parroted it at you so much. If you've got a game you want me to play, a horror game, a stupid game, a bad game, like Let the Cat In. No, Chibi, I haven't forgotten about that. I'm never going to forget about that. Let the Cat In was horrible. But I know a lot of people really enjoyed my suffering on that. So if you've got something like that you want me to play, I'll do it. As I've said before, and as was the case with this game, you give me a game, I will make at least one episode out of it. You buy me a game, at least one episode. And if it's cool, the whole playthrough. Anyways, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.